the madman. Today's brawl. Venture into the wild. It's getting a little wild out there. Pick a class and we'll arm you with a wild deck fit for battle. Well, that seems like a pretty good deck. Since I don't only be oh what? What? Yahar. Is this still good? In wild? Are these like decks that Blizzard took from wild top decks or something? Catches is popular again. Oh. Happy little Mergleton. It seems like an aggro v aggro matchup, so you should take something that focuses on board control. In theory. Or possibly even life tap. Hey, it's life tap. I don't think that deck has anything any way to deal with the might of the four mana seven seven though. For those of you who haven't heard Patches' entry scene yet, because you don't see it very often, I mean, there you have it. It's pretty hilarious. Yahar! Wow, that's a nice card. But what will you do? Against my 4 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. I can do 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven, and a 3, 5 mana deal 5 and a 6 mana 4 of 7-7. Seven, seven. Something like that. Yeah, smart, smart. Go watch the Lays video on making sure to hit the face more often. I had started to go down that path, of course. You might know me as the master of trump trading. But finding opportunities to go face is pretty important. Life tap actually ends up not being that good in this matchup. If you're not trading. Alright, so I'm at 9. You could kill me with exactly... What for 6 mana can kill me from 9? If I set him to 11, he could do it with Mortal Strike plus Heroic Strike. Or double Heroic Strike plus 1 damage. But this isn't worth considering, I'd say. It's a race to the bottom. Uh, is that... Nope, that's not 9. Now we can do the Crackle BM. I hope it does three. <laughs> well played. Something about the 4 mana 7-7, seven, seven, man. Just makes you get bad manners. Or luck mirror. Oh wow, it's a Reno duck. Of course, right, right now in wild, the Reno decks are a little bit less powerful than the... Than basically the control we're locked right now. But hey, we got all the Reno cards. Bazing. I happen to be pretty good at this mirror. Practiced it a lot back when Reno was around.
And I'm not entirely sure what's in this deck, but it seems like fairly good cards. There's certain key things, like I'm not sure if this deck runs in Azoth. Oh, I guess there's my win condition. Alright, trivia question. Anyone know if you have armor and then you become Jaraxxus, do you keep the armor? God, that was a test. You lose the armor. That's correct. I knew that. I will try to keep the Kazakus potion for after I become Jaraxxus, and I should probably turbo Jaraxxus. Since I'm going to turbo Jaraxxus, the Reno Jackson doesn't matter much, so I'm just going to play that on curve. The antique kill bot will pretty much heal me to full anyways. Hey, Barina. Say you, that guy in Reno, uh, that guy in chat who said Reno Kappa. You probably would have never made that play. So, learn from that. Not Reno Kappa, but Reno Best Play Unit. Every day is a lesson. Your soul is At last, a worthy disciple. Hmm. Base protects Thor, Sand. He probably had an answer anyways, though. Hit that face. If I manage to wait a turn on the Jaraxxus, I can now Jaraxxus here at Paris. I should probably do that. Getting the face valley. Right, playing Cruel would be terrible. I would lose Jaraxxus. Maybe I should just play Jaraxxus right now, since I actually have no other play. Yep. No Inferno, alas. We have lethal. Thanks to the magic of Thorisan. And a few cards that are only wild. Wild. Oh, this mages look very smart. The mirror looks like tempo mage, be tempo mage. That looks like an insane hand. I'm not sure what Duplicate is doing in this deck, but okay. Glyph is good here, so I can uh, basically for the plus one. Flame Waker answer? I don't take Missile, I guess. Three mana. It's Forgotten Torch in them. Uh, find every excuse to go face. So basically this is get punished by Frostbolt or Forgotten Torch. But 
If I were to attack, you would just fire blast, I suppose. It was a very tough decision, but I was inspired by Zolay to go face more often. And then we'll make our own mistakes. Sometimes it'll be wrong to go face. A lot of the time it'll be wrong. But we'll try to find that narrow border. I mean, if he had traded in Fire Blast, then I would have been completely right. Oh, wow. He's doing it right? Possibly. I'll fight you. I like that, very subtle. Wounds this, so that if it's a trade, he gets the trade. Coin might trigger secret. Did not. A duplicate seems likely. Probably want to use it on Kirin Tor Mage. And this seems like a pretty good card to get two copies of. Effigy. Oh, with the glyph. Okay. Hmm. Wow. You can play two secrets and apply for free. We have many secrets. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. Hmm, do we want the ice block in play or would we rather have counter spell? Probably counter spell. What to do? What to do? I'm late. I'm late. Right away. An incredible discovery. Oh, my God. <laughs> Counter. Where matters are gathering now. Opponent, you're too strong. Big priest, wow, I keep getting the mirror. I can't remember if you keep shadow visions in order to get the shadow essence. Eh, it's probably a hard mulligan. I am never lucky. Farn's waiting room. 
Yeah, you didn't have coin barns. Thank you. Alright. Far be the shadow essence. When that dies, things are gonna get worse pretty fast. Hey, it's Barnes. Almost on time. Close enough, right? I've gotta watch out for a psychic scream from his side. In terms of overcommitting. I also don't know if this deck has Light Bomb in it, but I have to predict that it does. I imagine it does. Kinda nice that Barnes uh, isn't dead yet, so I should use the Resurrects. I'm gonna use both Resurrects. Did I save the Shadow Word Death? I think the Shadow Word Death is extremely important. So I shouldn't use it while I have two of these on the board. into the Deadpool, I guess. I'm gonna play this really controlly. I think this matchup, it could come down to fatigue. If I can get rid of the stuff with the Dragonfire Potion, Dragonfire would usually be too weak to kill everything. Or I could death, but death is a ultimate tempo card. Hmm. I really don't want to use this thing, but I will. Ooh, Oscar Diamond's Fallstone number two. I think he's got three Lich King cards right now. Yasharaj. That's the card I wanted to save death for. That's useless. Uh, I think we'll just burn both horrors. The horror. Please tell me Light Bomb is in this deck. Please. It's a wild game. How could it not be in this deck? Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. Sure. Fair is fair. Alright, so I'll deal three to that and then 
suck the Lich King's soul into the Frostmourne. Just like it did in the lore. Wait, there's nothing left in there? Huh. But yeah, I know he hasn't used any deaths yet. Probably have to get through both of them. Dragon Fire Potion plus kill that. Grab Yashira. Uh, I guess we'll just play Obsidian Statue against it. Oh crap, and Tomb's in the deck. Ugh. I just had another greater healing push, and I think I would have this game secured. I mean, it also just died to one removal, I guess. Uh, not quite that way, though. Alright, we're looking for the greater healing potion, which may or may not be in this deck. Ooh. It's in! Which means there's another greater healing potion in there. He should be out of threats by now. And I still have both of the spell stones in this deck. And I have two threats in my hand. He should be completely out of threats. And I just realized none of the cards I saw were pint-sized potion. Or would they? I don't remember. There must be pint-sized potions in here. How is there no light bomb in this deck? That's what I don't understand. Oh, he actually has two more of these eggs. <laughs> ah. Yeah, looks like we got some good old oil rogue. Against Hunter, uh oh. Hmm, huh? got Hannigan's Dagburn? Actually, I think this is probably Kingsbane. Yeah, this has got to be Kingsbane. I think it's the aggressive Kingsbane version. I'm not sure what secrets are in this deck. Gotta be snakes, huh? Now nah, cat trick for sure. Oh, cave hydra valley. Thank you. Snake or cat trick.
I wonder if he actually kept any of those cat tricks in his hand and then drew into the mad scientist. Maybe he expected more secrets. Who knows? Never lucky. damage in the end. Wow, that is a sad hunter deck. We can play the hunter next and see just how bad that deck is somehow. Doesn't look bad at all. Can we kill the Reno lock? Wow, that curve. Let's go. So there's only one of each spell in that deck. Gotta watch out for Defile, and next up is Hellfire. And that card's kind of annoying. So, let's get him out the way. Okay. Defile is uh, relatively light. Looking for some skill? Should we dig for skill? 4, 7, I need 3 damage. Is there anything that deals 3 damage in this deck? There's also Animal Companion, I guess, with 1 third chance. Crackling Razor Maw, I can deal 3. Wait, that deals 3. Oh, dude. oh there's Quick Shot in this deck, that's pretty good. <laughs> Lots of mirrors. What are the chances of killing four different classes and getting four mirrors? That's amazing. Consecration is going to be really important in this matchup. Oh man. These are the two cards. These are the three cards which carried me to Legend Rank 1 back in the day. And it's not that type of deck, though. I'm pretty sure this is a dude paladin. Dude. Tempting, but... This card is so unfair. I gotta clear his guys.
You know, interesting development in Standard. I lightly keep up with it. Dude Paladin is supposedly one of the best decks in Standard at this moment. Incredible. Back to your homes. Could have killed off this spider also. Dude Paladin in Standard would be a lot stronger if you could muster, or if you could call to arms the Haunted Creeper, I'm sure. Five, seven, eight. Oh, that's a good hand. So I gotta play around Shadow Word Horror. I didn't see Potion of Madness when I was playing that deck. I drew most of the deck. Also, I totally forgot to coin the Firefly. Well played. Totes. Or maybe I wanted to save it. Well, now I'm just saving it. Because the Haunted Creeper is barely any damage. So the next turn is where I can get Shadow Word hard. I guess I'll save the Mark of the Lotus. Well yeah, we'll play both Haunted Creepers. Yeah, that's pretty good. I found the secret line. The next turn I go Mark Savage. Well played. Tonight, a tale of glorious is this lethal? One, three, four, five, six. Six plus twelve, eighteen, plus five, twenty-three. Well played. Well played. Get him. Well played. Wow, oh, that's scummy. A little Dr. Boom appears. Cool. Death Spite and Pirate Worm? Hmm. See, the rogue was a. It seemed like a King's Bane rogue, but I didn't play long enough to know. It's big pirate warrior. Where would pirate warrior want to kill its own stuff with Despite? Turn after Elite is pretty much always Arcanine Reaper. Push the 9 damage twice, and then we just need 1 damage. 
Hopefully Dr. Boom is good for that damage. Spot, I guess. Uh, yeah. Since I got a bit more of a control heavy hand for this pirate warrior, I guess we'll do a little bit of clearing. I should probably have decked him in the face, but I was saving him for ship's cannon. But nah, I should have decked him in the face. <laughs> Alright, face the might of Dr. Boom and my pirate warrior. Frothing path. Seems scary. Hmm. I do hate that he could kill me. I probably could have played this a little bit better. I shouldn't have played the second frothing. I should have went ship's cannon, mate, and deck in to guarantee this or something. I will hit this, just to make whale do less damage. Berserker, pretty good. Battle detected. I strike. A cool array of wild decks. I guess that's to get you thinking about when we get the wild heroic brawl in either next week or two weeks from now. Not sure which week it'll be on. A whole bunch of decks. Pretty competitive decks. Looks like not super optimal, but pretty close. Close? In the ballpark. 